Yeehaw! It's Bob and Julie the Movies! The final indoor edition for 2009. Whether it's the end of the year or the end of the decade. Because next year or next week, we on the road. Outdoors. In the cold. Although the weather for this year's uh, Bob and Julie extravaganza looks a lot better than last year. You remember last year it was snowing and it was blowing and uh, we had several inches of snow and slop and crap and windy weather. And uh, this year, now the extended forecast says Friday, uh, partly cloudy, high around 30. So it doesn't look too bad for next week. Good. (laughs) But I have a new coat this year. Oh, okay. I was preparing just in case. Well, last year was a little, boots. a little chilly. I couldn't feel my legs after last year, Bob. <laughs> well, this year, though, we're at Kroger. Right. And Kroger is built a little differently. Yep. And we're kind of, you're kind of in a little farther. Good. So we really shouldn't have the uh, weather type problem. That'll be nice. And Leota is going to be down at the other end while we're there. Oh, cool. So. And, and I invited her to come down to our end. Mm-hmm. She's not going to. She said, I'm not going to touch your end. She wants her own end. She does. So, But that's going to be next week at the Kroger store at this time. Uh, but we invite you to come out starting at noon mm-hmm. and give us cash. 12 p.m. And we'll be there till 4.30. Then I got to go that way. Yes. And so Andy Brown's going to step in. Nice. And the Brown family is going to be ringing from 4.30 till 6. Time out with Andy Brown. Yes. Time spent ringing. Yes. With Andy Brown. Hey, we're brought to you in part by our friends at Current Office Solutions. Did you know that 2010 is right around the corner? It's amazing. Now, are Weren't we, we just talking about this? We were. It's the end of the decade, Bob. Okay, so that brings, <laughs> up, that brings up the next question then. Are we calling it 2010 or 2010? I don't know. It's just way too long. It's going to be a pain. Because, you know, know a lot of people are already calling it the 20, you know, 2010, 2011. I'm just going to call it 10. It's 10. You call it 10. I call 10 now, number 10. (laughs) Well, Current Office Solutions has what you need to transition into the new year. Yes, the new decade. From calendars. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) To storage boxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, You'll find what you need at one single source. Oh, yeah, because you have to store all of this year's papers and crap. Yeah, and we have to store for how long? Like seven years. Seven years, don't we? It's a pain. It is. So... Um, if you And you can do this all online, though. This is a cool thing. Yes. You just go to CurrentOfficeSolutions.com. Yes. And you can order online. Yes. And uh, have it delivered to you free the next business day. Yes. That's pretty impressive. Rain, sleet, snow, hail. Now, do they, they have... get it there. Do they have, like, a COS um, staff calendar? Well, I see, like, Darren in <laughs> February. I don't, I don't know about that. We're, in, like, dressed up as Cupid or something. Yeah. Or? You know, Ron in the spring wearing his, his golf attire. Nice. I, maybe I maybe a little swimsuit or something. I don't know. Okay. I was just going to, because it says. Oh, the windy should be the March one. There you go. Because you know. it's windy. Yes. But it says all types of calendars. Well, maybe not all types. Oh. That might be a generalization, Bob. <laughs> okay. You'll have to ask Ron about that. Also, by the way, if you're looking for a, a cool Christmas gift, uh, copiers, fax machines, scanners, printers, mm-hmm. all that cool stuff. Color laser. It's my favorite. It's the color laser. laser. So if you need to make color copies of magma. Or sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads. <laughs> you can do that with help from Current Office Solutions. Yes. Hey, also, speaking of color. Yes. We're brought to you by Hillsdale Interiors, nice. floors, windows, and walls. Way to go. Yep. Good segue. They cover them all. <laughs> and uh, for the holidays, you still have time. Yeah, because painting only takes a couple days. You can bang it out in a weekend. Yeah. You know, and so if everybody's coming to your house. get all the furniture back in place and it's done and it looks brand new. You know, and if you can't paint, Lynette knows people that can. Oh, she knows people. Oh, she knows Steve the paint guy amongst others. Yes. You know, who will come and paint you in like a day or two and have Mm -hmm. it all looking nice and fresh and new. Yeah. And And you don't uh, have to do any of it. No, you just have to pay. Yep. And it's not that expensive. I don't think so. It really isn't. I mean, I had mine done several years ago, and it still looks new. Mm-hmm. You know, it hasn't gotten dingy, dull, cruddy looking. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they use the quality stuff that's going to last you a good yes. long time. 
And all you have to do is give them a call at 523-4111 or catch them online at hillsdaleinteriors.com. You know, we had all that crappy weather uh, flying around the other day. (laughs) Yes. And And Ben was flying around in it. And Ben was teaching kids how to drive. Yes, he was. Because you never know when it's your turn to drive at my turn to drive. That's right. And when I took driver's training, and maybe the same when you took it, through the schools, they taught you in the summertime. Yeah. And then you were screwed when winter came because you had no idea what to do. uh, Okay, yeah. I mean, you watch the film strips. And your parents were really scared, too. Right. (laughs) Because you had no clue. You watch the film strips in the middle of June Mm -hmm. that show you how to, you know, skid and stuff. Maneuver. Yeah, and all that. And you're like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see Ben out there sucking it up. He's manning up. He is. He's teaching these kids how to drive the right way. Yep, going to the power slide and... (laughs) How to not lock up your anti-lock brakes. There you go. Yeah. But And see, and that's the thing, too, because you and I never had ABS anti-lock. brakes. Yeah, we didn't. So, you know, we're used to pumping. That's what they yep. taught you, you know, pump those brakes. And now you're not supposed to pump. You're supposed to slam on your brakes yep. and hope that the ABS kicks in. And then you do what we did. You know, you're, you're cheap when your kid wants a car, so you buy them after they learn how to drive with ABS brakes. Yeah. You buy them a vehicle that doesn't have it them. It doesn't have them, exactly. And they slam on the brakes and they slid right through. It's like, yeah, eh, well, you know. But Ben. No, Ben teaches you the right way to drive in the crappy weather. Yes, he does. So if you'd like to know more, and speaking of which, next Saturday, a week from tomorrow, starts the Christmas class. Great Christmas present. It really is. And it's at a holiday price this year, cheaper than it's ever been before. It's almost, it's pretty, it's almost like a buck 390. Is that it? It's, yeah, that's (laughs) pretty darn cheap. And uh, it starts next Saturday and it goes through the uh, Christmas break for high schoolers. And it's going to be taught at the Assembly of God Church. And I think that's what helps Ben is, you know, he's got Jesus as his Mm co-pilot out there. So I think he can get through the the wintry weather with Mm -hmm. no problems. He's blessed. He is. Or touched. We don't know which. Well, both. 1-866-547-4771 or on the web at? MyTurnToDrive.com Did you go a movie? I went movie and rent movie. I rented one. Okay. So... And actually, the kids got it, and I sat and watched it, and it wasn't that bad. Uh-oh. What was it? Well, we watched Aquila and the Bee. Oh, okay. With mm-hmm. uh, Morgan Freeman. Mm-hmm. No, Lawrence Fishburne. Oh. Okay. Lawrence Fishburne. He's on CSI now, you know. Yes. Um, And it's basically about this uh, black girl from, like, the inner city Los mm-hmm. Angeles um, who is smart, but her mom doesn't want her to go to the smart kid school. Mm-hmm. Because she can't afford to send her to smart kid school and all right. that. And you're not that smart, blah, blah, blah. And she gets involved in spelling. And then she hooks up with Lawrence Fishburne, who had gone to the spelling bee in Washington, D.C. when he was a kid. And um, they go on and, and show her experience. And it's based on a true story. Cool. And it actually was pretty good. You know, because I remember we were talking about it when it first came out. And we were both like, yeah. yeah maybe. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. I mean, it For was. For a rental. It was sappy in spots. Mm-hmm. You know, it does have some drama, mm-hmm. controversy, Ooh. you know, in a spelling bee. And the cool thing is <laughs> okay. that the, the the pronouncer and the judges that they have on the movie are the exact ones from the Scripps oh, Howard neat. National Spelling Bee. So that yeah, was pretty cool. It really wasn't that bad. I'm the first to admit it was it was an all right movie. Okay. And then the missus, because I was predisposed last night, the missus and the boy went to see Everything's Fine. Uh-huh. And from the little I got from them, they said, yeah, it wasn't bad. This okay. is the new Robert De Niro mm-hmm. thingy. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, yep. Mm-hmm. Where they're out, dad's out visiting the kids because the kids had all sorts of excuses not to come home. Yes. So you went to see. I saw The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke on DVD. Ah. You, and. You saw this, right? And. Marissa, Marissa Tomei. Marissa Naked three quarters of the yes, way through. she is. Like. For three quarters of the film, she's naked. Um, she's still not as good in that movie as she was in My Cousin Vinny when she had all of her clothes on, but this is an extremely close second. I really enjoyed this movie. I, it, The ending was... Predictable. You kind of Well, you knew. don't know what happens, though. Yeah, but you, you, you kind of... You think you know, but right. you might not know. You might not know.